Hello guys, this is Michael here. I'm going to show you how you can, um, for those especially who have this kind of problem, um, how to actually set a custom notification tone on an, um, highly, um, secured Android phone. So, um, some of you may have the struggle, um, so if we went to, um, our settings on here, um, we click where it says settings, and we go to set a notification, and you notice that when you go to click notification tone, there is no way you can actually use the default tone on here. That's very weird, right? How are we going to set this notification tone? And if we, um, if you don't have the default, um, app, um, yeah, some, with the, um, default Android app, yeah, you can set an, um, a ringtone, but you can't set a notification tone. So if we go to click right here, there's no option to, um, set a ringtone or notification tone. Which makes it a little difficult for us. So, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually do this. We're using a really nice and easy software, and how you can actually fix this problem. So, before we do, um, we want to go to where it says the Play Store. Um, we're going to be using what's called ES File Explorer, which is really top of the line software. Now, I see I already have mine on the window here because I previously downloaded this for my help, but um. This is for you to uh, especially um, help it. So um, now let's go back to. Let me show you very quick. Um, just keep note when we went to go to the um settings, clicked on the notification. We had we were able to choose our ringtone from this setting right here. Keep in mind of what this looks like. It's gonna change. Okay, so let's go back to the um ES File Explorer. Oh jeez, I got a game apparently. Uh, okay, let me just call that out. So we're going to, you click this and it's, it is trusted. We have 100 million downloads, 4.5 rating. So let's press install and we're going to accept. And it's going to take its time to install itself. Um, it doesn't take that long for me because my data is still up a little bit. I almost don't think, thank God it's all this little bit left. I need it for the week, you know. Yep. I have until the 4th of next month. So I'm lucky on data for now. So it's installing this right now, and um, it is very important that once the finish is on, you press the open button, because um, it usually depends on the Android itself, but um, if you have those kind of Androids where you have to open an app for you to do it, I really suggest you do that, um, especially if you don't know your Android that well. So we're going to press open. It's going to load DM software, and we're just going to close right back out. We're just going to press the home button right on the bottom. So let's go down to the um, settings now. Now remember what I showed you. Remember what I told you. Um, keep an eye on what that notif that um, how to choose all those different um notification zones. Cause now here's what we're gonna do. So you have these two options now. You can complete actually use the ES File Explorer. You can use Media Storage, which is a default. We're gonna use um ES File Explorer. I'm just gonna mark mine as always. You can choose the option always or just once to um decide if you wanna <coughs> use it afterwards or not. So um. We're gonna press always, and now we're gonna decide where our item, where our um, ringtone is. Now it won't show us entirely. It's we gotta find out where our location is. And mine is obviously my download folder. Now this is the ringtone right here. Um, for our do, let me just show you what the default sounds like. Um, we're gonna use the notification tone. Both phone, the notification tone and ringtone will both work the same. So like, let me send myself a test message so you can um know that I'm not joking about this. Okay. So I'm going to copy this text right here. I'm going to paste this in the bottom. And let me exit out very quick. And that's my default. So that way you, can, you guys can have a little more belief in what I'm saying to you. Okay, so um, let's go to settings. Now let's go back to where it says default notification tone. Now no, remember I decided to press always to use the um, ESO Explorer app. Let's go to where it says download, and we're going to choose Crazy Omega that MP3, or I'm going to, at least. Okay, so as you can see, that's the selected right there. Now, let's go back to the Messenger app. We're going to test this now. I'm going to paste this again. And we're going to exit out, and listen now. That is not it. There it is. But yep, it's a really good app um, for those especially who have the struggle with um, trying to figure out like what's going on with the um, with your phone, like why you won't be able to send a notification tone. So um, 
this is my most top suggestion. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I do strongly suggest you can use it, especially you can also use it to organize your Android um, files. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to like and subscribe, and feel free to share this for people who need